Well then, the last week has been pretty busy for me. Bunch of important stuff happened and whatnot, but you're not here to hear about that. You're here to see me roast some more people in what I would like to describe as a completely civil argument. So obvious sarcasm aside, if you remember in my previous angry comments video, I mentioned how I got quite a bit of angry comments and all of them being downright hilarious. And well, now it's finally time to share them with the world and we're going to get right into it starting with this guy. Why are you so triggered over someone having a valid opinion? Okay, well, first of all, an anime profile picture is never really a good sign of a mentally stable individual, but regardless, this is in response to my over a year old Hollow Knight response video, where the guy was trying to claim how the game is bad because he didn't play it. Yeah, that actually happened. And well, that leads me to my first point, and that being, it wasn't a valid opinion, cope and seed. And as for my second point, it wasn't an argument of opinions, because the guy was objectively wrong in his video, but whatever helps you cope, I guess. On a quite honestly, bad and unfun game. First of all, fun is subjective, and second of all, mind giving any arguments on why that is? Well, I guess not. And to give the very obvious answer to the very stupid question on why I made the video, money. But then again, if the viable profile picture wasn't already enough proof of mental illness, this guy was kind enough to show the world his single digit IQ. Okay then, next comment. Imagine basing your whole channel on talking shit about other creators. I don't have to imagine it because I'm already doing it, but you see, the difference between me and this guy is, I get paid for making these videos, Meanwhile, what does this guy get by molding in my comment section? Well, I'll take the algorithm boost any day of the week. And now, let's watch an angry Ultra Kill fanboy desperately trying to defend the bad parts of the community from criticism. Well then, shall we? Casually sorts A criticism by performing an odd hominem attack rather than just responding is wild and starting off strong with throwing buzzwords that he doesn't understand the meaning of because clearly this guy never heard of an intro. Then he goes on to say how my first video was good, blah blah blah, which I actually disagree with because I tried biting my tongue in that video, which made it endlessly fucking painful to make, so let's skip straight to the interesting part. By making a headline that is both a something something buzzword, you've lost all my respect. Well man, I hate to break it to you, but Ultra Kill fanboys being worse than Mayo fanboys is the fucking truth because, you see, Mayo fanboys are so stupid that they are funny, while Ultra Kill fanboys are so stupid that it's just insufferable. And yes, there is a pretty discernible difference, so cope with that fact however you will. Not everyone in the Ultra Kill community attacked your previous vid, don't put everyone on the one tent! Which I never did, as I clearly state in the first fucking sentence that the vast majority of the reception was positive. Oh, guys, now we get to use his precious little buzzwords against him. What he did here is a perfect example of a straw man. But yeah, as I clearly stated in that video, if it don't apply, let it fly. And well, I think that for this guy, it did very much apply. Honestly, with this video, you only confirm his words that most fans of Ultra Kill are psychopaths who do not accept criticism. Does he though? Does he know that I literally criticized Ultra Kill not long ago? Okay, who am I kidding? He does not know. And yes, this comment is under the ancient video responding to Mayo's Act 2 review. <laughs> I wasn't lying when I told you guys that these Mayo fanboys are in love with me. Disliked, not because they disagree, but because you used a muscler. Well man, as I said earlier, if it don't apply, let it fly. I mean, it's not my fault that people are out here being fucking retarded. But yeah, in this guy's honor, we're gonna seek words of wisdom from our lord and savior 10 swan i free himself. Man, man, listen to me one second, okay? For a tactic. RETARD! Now this next guy is an ultra kill elitist who is currently stalking my channel and trying to argue how the gutter tank is too hard while ignoring all of its tech, and despite losing said argument on like three separate occasions, and even admitting to making shit up to fit his narrative, he keeps repeating the same refuted points to different people in the replies, in hopes someone would be as stupid as him to fall for it, so yeah. 
You already know we're dealing with a truly magnificent specimen here. So, let's take a look at this wonder of nature. You know the gutter thing doesn't appear exclusively by itself, right? Yeah, and that literally makes him easier, what's your point? It usually appears with support, with several enemies, bruh. <laughs> calling those enemies support is like calling Cassius and Brutus Caesar's guardian angels. Just more proof that this guy doesn't know what in the actual fuck he's talking about. This is nearly impossible to pull off in Cybergun without just dying. He says for the round trip insta kill, which fun fact is a complete lie because you get 10 years to stick the thing with a magnet and touch the rocket once. But what he also doesn't realize, in his infinite wisdom, is that the cyber grind is THE place where you pray to gods above you get gutter tanks instead of worse shit like stalkers or virtues. So yeah, congratulations man, you played yourself. Oh lot of yep! I mean, if I get free algorithm boosts by just stalking, I see that as nothing but an absolute win. And this next comment is from the same old Chakalilitus as before, after he changed his profile picture from that previous abortion, so... That's at least something, I guess. Curious, you seem to cherry pick exclusively the comments that are from people who don't know what they're talking about. Well, then it makes perfect sense why you made the cut. But yeah, it's in the title, my dear retard. Angry comments. Oh, and fun fact there's not a single comment that was able to argue how the gutter tank is objectively bad in either of those comment sections. So, yeah, sucks to suck. Mayo is right, dude. Sure, and I'm Santa Claus. Plus, all this video is you saying skill check over and over again. Skill issue, bro. Boomer laughing emoji. I mean, I can count the number of times I said that on half a hand, but whatever helps this guy cope, I guess. Ultra kill just isn't kill very good game. Much less a boomer shooter. Well, do you have a source to back up that claim? Oh, wait. My source is that I made it the fuck up. And this next guy time sends me saying boomer and says, Ooh, check out player say slur. I mean, I didn't realize boomer is now a slur, but okay then. But if he's referring to the word retard full five seconds later, then that's really ironic because all Shackle fanboys love to bitch at me for calling a spade a spade, but it's okay, man. I'm not upset with you because I know you're mentally behind. And with that, that's gonna do it for this one. So I guess the moral of the story here is Think bad because buzzword. <laughs> so yeah, finally got around to sharing these angry comments. Honestly, all the shit I had going on revolving around my life and education and stuff is pretty exhausting, however, and people love to bitch and moan whenever I say this, but too bad because it's fucking true. It is still pretty important, as wanting to be a gay ass content creator is not a valid career path. Go open seed. But despite that, it's nice to have a little break to work on a video every now and again. And I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. Be sure to like and subscribe to boost me in the algorithm. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.